everybody! Oh my god, it's another episode of Fandom Fights! Holy shit! Holy shit! We're here. <laughs> this is really exciting. I don't know what number match this is in the tournament. I think it's like the third or the fourth match in the tournament. I've lost count at this point. But here we are. It is the Summer Series Tournament. And we are here for another good one. We've got the number five seed, Jacoby Bancroft, going up against the number 12 seed, Caleb Boatman. Last time, last time we saw Jacoby, he was knocking out Mark Kamire. Last time we saw Boatman, he lost in a very, very close match against Nico Suave Rigoli. Nick, your thoughts on the match going in today? Well, one of them is a famous wearer of Hawaiian shirts. The other world-renowned known as the Chicken Little Kid. So whichever one of those gives them the upper hand, uh, I think whoever plays into that best will have the advantage today, Tim. Yes, uh, fun fact, this entire match is specifically Lilo and Stitch and Chicken Little trivia. I hope that works out well for the two of them. Uh, but let's get into promos right now, starting off with Jacoby. All right. Hello, everybody. I am back, and I am so excited to be here playing Boatman. You know why? It's because right now I am a three-in-one competitor, and that terrifies me because look at me. I should not be a three-in-one competitor. Um, I need I need someone good to beat me to get me down to a more comfortable, more like you know, even stress level at like three and two. So I'm so happy I'm playing Boatman today because honestly, I do not know. Uh, what would happen if I become four and one? I mean, all that power is going to go straight to my head and I might do something crazy. I don't know. I might like dye my hair blue and start bossing people around and being really loud all the time. I don't know. Um, but so that's why I'm super happy for this match. Um, uh, Boatman, um, has been my friend for a while and now he's in a different faction. Um, and I look forward to meeting, uh, playing him, playing him. Um, so let's do it. Let's get onto it. Come on, bring it Boatman. I don't know where all this hostility from Jacoby just came all of a sudden because I really, I really like Jacoby. I think it's the it's the fact that his manager didn't show up today that's really getting to his head. Uh, oh, we need to be nice. I am being he nice. I like Jacoby a lot, and I wish Jacoby all the luck in this match day. But um, we need to win. We really need to win. Uh, and I think that you're a lot better than your record suggests, and uh, you held a belt this season already in this division. So I think. Uh, I think we go in, we have fun, and we just go get the win. I just want to say, if you if you take Kobe Jack Cheese, right, and you take out the CK at the end, and you put the J up, it spells Jacoby. And I had Kobe Jack Cheese for, for breakfast on my egg sandwich, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Manners make the fan. Let's play the game. Yeah. All right, Nick. Well, those were some lukewarm to mild promos no actually i really like jacoby uh coming in pretty hot um it that was a great promo uh boatman and coho coming in doing their thing they need the win um if, if boatman loses this match he's kind of in an awkward position of having a not great record i believe he'd be two and four at that point so this is this is a must win for boatman um Let's see what happens, Nick. Any thoughts about the promos? Yeah, something something that was pointed out that we forgot to mention. Boatman is a former champion yes. uh, of this league. Something definitely to know. But I think uh, I think we should not uh, count out Jacoby's sort of self cynicism. There was a little Freudian slip in there. I don't know if anyone noticed, but he claimed he was going to decapitate uh, Boatman today. Yes. Uh, We'll see what happens. It's going to be a good one. Let's get right into it with round number one, and it works like this. There are going to be 10 questions from 10 different categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is worth one point a piece. If you get all 10 questions right, you will get a bonus question. You have three repeats and a challenge rule for the entirety of the match. Gentlemen, do we have any questions as we get going? New. No. Nah. All right, sounds good to me. We will start off with question number one, which is in the category of Disney animation. What 2000s Disney animated movie has a main character named Aladar? Um, Disney animated films. I like a lot of them. I dislike a lot of them. Yeah. I'll leave it um, all the ones that Coho likes are bad. 
five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Jacoby. Uh, I don't think I'm, meet the Robinsons. It is incorrect. Boatman. Dinosaur. Dinosaur is correct. Starting off with a 1-0 lead, we go to your second question, which is in the category of Oscars. <laughs> what MCU film was nominated for Best Visual Effects at the 2014 Oscar ceremony? Do you watch the Oscars, Nick? Just to I clarify, do. so 2014 ceremony films released in 2013. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, I used to. There was a there was a hot uh, moment in there where I was an avid watcher of the Oscars. I've sort of fallen off. That's fair. Yeah, I also don't have cable anymore. That's fair. When someone tells me they're off on the Oscars, I, I get it. Three, two, one. Pens down. I still love them myself. We'll go over to Boatman. Iron Man 3. And Jacoby. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Iron Man 3 is correct. Boatman takes the 2-0 lead. Uh -oh. Two. Next category, Jurassic Park. In Jurassic World, who sponsors the Indominus Rex? you ever sponsor a zoo attraction? <sighs> oh, no, no. If you were to sponsor a zoo attraction, which one would it be? I can't say. Okay, I like the red pandas at the San Diego Zoo. We like the red pandas at the Madison Zoo. Pens down, we will go to Jacoby. Verizon Wilds. And Boatman. Our dinosaur eats people, but also by our cell phones. <laughs> yes, both correct. Nick, give him the next one. Will do. It's in the category of Star Trek. In the voyage home, what do the crew name their Klingon bird of prey? These are movies that you like. I, I enjoy these these films. As yeah. you. You yeah, I, like, I like, I'd say, over half of them. Okay. That means you like the, the series as a whole. Yeah, I like it. The, yeah. <laughs> like. Not convinced. Three, two. <laughs> one. We'll start with Boatman on this one. The HMS Bounty. And Jacoby. Uh, the Enterprise Junior. <laughs> HMS Bounty is correct. So Boatman will take a 4-1 lead as we get into the next question. In quotes, in what Disney live-action film will you hear the line, do not cite the deep magic to me, which I was there when it was written? Pretty aggressive of someone to say. Sounds pretty aggressive. Um, you know who else is very aggressive? Who's that? The best manager in the biz. I was thinking just the same. He's, he's aggressive because he cares. Five. He makes fun of me just to make me better. <laughs> Two, one, pens down. We will start with Jacoby on this one. I had to scribble really fast. The Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And Boatman? The Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Both are correct. We also would have accepted The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Well. Um. <laughs> Your next question is in the category of Rocky. In Creed Two, who acts as Adonis's manager in place of Rocky during the first fight with Drago? I had a bit of a typo there. I saw that you uh, yeah, roll with the punch you to handle it. Uh, yeah, that's you, you figured it out. There was a word missing. I threw it right in. Bonus points to the competitors. You can guess which word that was. Yeah, uh, I am not authorized to award them. Two. <laughs> One. Pens down. We'll start with Bowman. Is it Little Duke? And Jacoby? Oh, I, I said Duke Jr. We are, yeah, we'll give the point to Boatman. We were looking for Little Duke Evers. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The next question is in the category of YA dystopia. In the Hunger Games, 
What is the name of the male tribute from District 2? What district would you be from? I don't know. One of the ones where there's a bunch of fat guys. <laughs> and I, I, no, you, you'd be from the Capitol. Oh, thank you. Aren't they like the bad guys? <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I take it back. Thumbs <laughs> down. We'll start with uh, Jacoby, Cato, and Bowman. I spelled it wrong, but Cato. Uh yes, both are correct. Crazy. It's almost like you've been around someone who puts a K where a C should be. <laughs> <laughs> next question. It's in the category of World DC. In Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, who plays Martha Kent? Very famous for having the name Martha. Uh, that's true. Having the name Martha will do you very good. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Jacoby. Diane Lane. That's correct. Boatman. This movie is Diane Lame, but she's Diane Lane. That is correct. Oh, got him. <laughs> All right. Through eight questions, Boatman still perfect as we get to the uh, ninth question of round number one, which is in the category of the MCU. In Captain America Civil War, what college does Tony speak at at the start of the film? You know, if he was speaking at a college in the fall of 2020, very likely that it would be through Zoom. That is true. Yeah. Uh, Zoom, bringing us all together for family gatherings that last seven and a half minutes. Five. <laughs> I'm only speaking from personal accounts, <laughs> too. <laughs> One, pens down. Uh, we'll start with Boatman. MIT. Jacoby. Mitt. Mitt, both correct. I was hoping Jacoby would say that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your final question for a perfect round, I believe? Yes. What is the, oh it's in the category of Middle Earth. I should let you know that. What is the real name of the Lonely Mountain in the Hobbit trilogy? <laughs> oh, oh. oh no. That's that's rough. That is rough when that happens. Watch him pull it out of his ass. It's almost like if someone asks you who stars in, you know, something, I don't know, Around the World in 80 Days. Well, <laughs> pens down. That's true. Uh, Boatman, we'll start with you. I said Dane. <laughs> that is incorrect. And Jacoby. I said David. <laughs> also incorrect. We were looking for Erebor. <laughs> I'm okay with that because I wasn't. I like you both gave it like human names. <laughs> <laughs> Dane? What human do you know named Dane, Nick? <laughs> I won't say in case there's a question. The guy who makes him his hot dogs, his name is Dane. Why, why Dane. are you going to question his name? Oh, Alrighty, we are going to head into round number two. Boatman is in the lead, nine to five, but anything can happen. As we get into number two, uh, this is the wheel round. There is a lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. Uh, there are ten categories on there. If uh, you spin, and you like what you spin first. You can keep it. Otherwise, you can spin again, but you have to keep whatever you land on the second time. Each question is worth two points apiece, unless you want to go to multiple choice. It devalues it to being worth one. Everybody still has three repeats, and their challenge rule, the categories on today's wheel are Oscars, DC, Disney Animation, Quotes, Pixar, Scores and Soundtracks, YA Dystopia, and Wizarding World. So, having heard the categories, Boatman, you are in the lead. Do you want to go first or second? We'll go second. Okay. So, Jacoby, this will be your spin as I bring up the lovely wheel. I was really hoping Planet of the Apes would be on here, but I guess not. All right, Jacoby, this is your spin. And it lands on Wizarding World. Oh, tough one. Um, 
Can I see the okay? Hold on. Can I see the wheel? I guess DC. Space. Yeah, the categories again are yeah. Oscars, DC, Disney Animation, Quotes, Pixar, Scores and Soundtracks, YA, Wizarding World, and of course Spinners and Opponents. Uh, I would do okay in Wizarding World, but I need a good some good points. You know, you know what they always say: Fortune favors the bold, right? They say that. Maybe please don't let me get quotes after this. Um, I will spin again. Okay, spinning again. And you land on DC. Okay. So I will give you your questions in DC. Are you ready? Yes. In Batman Forever, what is the name of the circus act that Dick Grayson is a part of? The Flying Graysons. That is correct for two points. Your next question. What is the name of the Green Lantern who passes his ring to Hal Jordan oh. in Green Lantern? Multiple choice, please. All right, your options are A, Tomar Ray, B, Kilowog, C, Ganthet, or D, Abin Sur? D. That is correct for one point. I was like, I'm going to mispronounce that name if I try, so I just need to hear it. Your next question. Who voices Superman in the Lego Batman movie? Channing Tatum. That is correct for two points, and you take the lead on that one. Your next question. In Joker, Arthur goes to a comedy club and watches a comedian who's doing a stand-up routine about role-playing as what profession? Um, a, uh, a professor, a college professor. That is correct for two points. All right, and your final question in DC. Who directed the classic Catwoman? Let's go multiple choice on that one. All right, your options are A, Francis Lawrence, B, Joel Schumacher, C, Pitoff, or D, Tim Story. Is Pitoff? It is Pitoff. That is correct for one point. I believe it's pronounced Pitoff. The greatest director of our time. Okay, so Jacoby making his way through DC gets his total up to 13. Uh, but we now move over to Mr. Boatman, uh, who is still at nine for his spin at the wheel. Tried real hard not to break when you said pit up. Yes, yeah, thanks. All right, Boatman, your spin is in. <sighs> And it lands on Pixar. I think we got to keep that, buddy. No, we'll take that. Yeah. Good. All right. Jacoby putting his thoughts in. <laughs> All right, Nick, will you give uh, Mr. Uh, Boatman his questions in Pixar? Sure. Mr. Boatman, are you ready for your questions in Pixar? Yes. Lovely. Your first question. What is the name of the human child in The Good Dinosaur? Spot. That's correct for two points. All right. Uh, question two. What was the name of Woody's old TV show in Toy Story 2? Woody's Roundup. Woody's Roundup. That's, that's correct. The macaw says no one asked you to sing. No one asked you to sing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Your third question. What Middle Earth actor voices Chef Skinner? In Ratatouille. Ian Holm. That is correct for two more points. Officially taking the lead. Your fourth question. In Finding Dory, Dory's tag certifies her to be transferred to an aquarium in what Midwestern city? I don't when I hear it multiple choice. The multiple choice options are A, Milwaukee, B, Cleveland, C, Indianapolis, D, Chicago. Cleveland. Cleveland is correct for one point. 
And your final question. What was the third film released by Pixar? Toy Story 2. That is correct for two more big points. All right. So at the end of the uh, second round, Boatman has gotten his total up to 18. Uh, Jacoby is behind with 13. So there is still a game as we get into round number three, which is the oh-so-lovely betting round. If – or I'm sorry. Wow. Brr, it's the betting round. I'm going to say a category. You guys are going to have to decide whether you want to bet zero, one, or two points on the question. If you get the question right, you get those points. If you get the question wrong, you lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or the score reaches zero. Any questions, gentlemen, as we hit round number three? Five questions, right? You said there five. are five total questions. Yep. Two well. All right. So the first category that you guys will be able to bet points on is Bond, Jimmy Bond. I, th I have an idea, but yeah. Shh. Okay, we're good, Mr. Coho? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, we will get bets starting with Boatman. One. Jacoby. I'll spend one. Okay, your question in Bond. In Skyfall, who retires from field work at the end of the film to become a secretary for M? That first question, you should just always bet two, and I still didn't do it. I said going into this match, I was like, I'm going to bet two on that first on that first question. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Bowman. Eve. And Jacoby. Aren't it money penny? Both are correct. Yes. So both get one point. Both ends up 19 to 14. Nick, what's the next category they can bet points on? The next category is that of quotes. Mm. Band of quotes. Okay. I mean, what, what I mean, what are you thinking? I, I was maybe thinking of going for it, but I mean go for it. If you if you think you can do it, go for it. I trust you. I, you're on a hot streak right now. If you think you can take a one on it, go for it. Yeah. We good guys? All right. We will start with uh Jacoby. What are you betting? Uh as I said before, fortune favors the bull. Let's bet two. Okay. Bowman? I bet one. Okay, Nick, you give him the question. Will do. In quotes. What Star Wars film has the following quote? Show me again the power of the darkness, and I'll let nothing stand in our way. Show me, Grandfather, and I will finish what you started. You delivered that question beautifully. Shots. You just, it, it was everything. You just had the emotion. I felt like I was in Star Wars and the Force. I felt like I was there too. Five. Yeah, I, I like it so much, I want to hear you read it again. Repeat the question. <laughs> you want to repeat? Yeah, yeah, let's repeat it. Okay. Okay. Ah, a lot of pressure now. What Star Wars film has the following quote? Show me again the power of the darkness, and I'll let nothing stand in our way. Show me, Grandfather, and I will finish what you started. Yeah. You know, not all sequels live up to the original. So. What'd you say? Not all sequels live up to the original. So the first time I said it was Five, much better than the second. Three, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Jacoby. You know, it's between the, you know two of those, right? So uh, Force Awakens. Boatman. Boatman. I had I no, I'm not I could be wrong because I that's I'm not even I had Kylo Ren. Oh the answer is the Force Awakens. Yeah. So Jacoby gets two oh. points. I missed her question. That's on me. Getting his total up to sixteen. Boatman loses a point. He's down to eighteen. Big. Oh, I love getting close from user error. That's Big. the best way I want to win. Big swing there, Nick. Um, this is now Ooh. a two-point game as we get into the next category, which is Planet of the Apes. 
Man, now I gotta start betting strategically. This sucks. I'm sorry, Coho. No, no, it's fine. I think. I mean. I don't think that's right. <laughs> Coho, smoking is bad for you, but. I have an interesting code. I wonder if we'll be able to decide. Oh, really? You think, I, don't know. I, I think you're better at apes than most people, and you need to make up some ground. I don't Go think for that's it. the right call, but okay. I, I, I trust you. So I trust you too, Bo. I really, okay. I'll Are trust we good? You. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> uh, get that starting with Bowman. Two. Ooh. Jacoby? I went 2-2, two, two. and I'll admit, I'll say right off the bat, I only rewatched like half of the Planet of the Apes movie, so if it's one of the ones I rewatched, it's going to be fun. <laughs> All right, guys, here's your question. In Rise of the Planet of the Apes, who plays John Landon, manager of the primate shelter that Caesar is taken to? Bowman. Nick, this is a crazy match, dude. <laughs> the last time I felt like this was the last time Boatman was in a match. That was not a dig. It was a good match. I no, it was. Three. It went to the last question. Two. Yeah. One. Pens down. Start with Boatman. Brian Cox. Jacoby. In the most underserved role, Brian Cox. It's weird. He's in the movie and he ends. It's the most thankless role for Brian Cox. <laughs> All right, Boatman still in the lead, 20. Uh, Jacoby, 18, still a two-point game. Nick, what's the next category? It's the Dinos, Jurassic Park. How do you feel about Park? This is the exact position we were in. Okay. If this is the exact position we were in the last match, then I'll trust you. You're the opposite of what we did last time. Okay. Because this is the last question, right? Second or last? Yeah, there's two questions. Two oh, questions there's left. two questions left. Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay. You sure? Jacoby, I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> I go up. Start with Jacoby. Two points. Boatman? About one. All right. Nick, give him the question. Will do. Oh, man. In Jurassic Park, what type of dinosaur kills Robert Muldoon? Badass name if I've ever heard one. You're just you're just very tense, aren't you, Tim? I am. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Start with Boatman. Raptor. Jacoby. Clever girl. Raptor. Both are correct. All right. So we go to the final. We're at the final question. Jacoby has 20 points. Boatman has 21 points. That's will be <laughs> everything here. And the category is Middle Earth. <laughs> Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Um. So it's all on him, right? He basically has to bet two to try and win this. We'll see what happens. I could bet one and go sudden death, and then it'd be fun. But then he beat me in that first round by like a lot, so I, that's probably true. I gotta go for the gold here, <laughs> but I'm not gonna get a middle earth question. <laughs> Your game, Jacoby. Your 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 move. Or have I been studying? I don't think you have. I, have not, I, have not. <laughs> I put David as the name of a mountain. No. I was gonna say <laughs> goodbye. Hey. All right, let's get bets starting with Jacoby. Oh man, I've got two points. Bowman zero. All right, Nick. If Jacoby hits it. He wins the match. If he misses, Boatman is the winner. And the question in Middle Earth, 
in the Fellowship of the Ring. What two things does Aragorn use to fight the Nazgul on Weathertop? I didn't even understand half the words you just said. Um... Used to fight the Nazgul on weather weather top. Weather top, weather top. I have two repeats left, right? You have all three. Oh yeah, two. two I, I use one. Yeah. Two. Five. Four. Repeat the question. All right, that's your second repeat. In the Fellowship of the Ring, what two things does Aragorn use to fight the Nazgul on weather top? Like a... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Let's repeat it just in case. I have my repeat. I have my answer, but because it's final repeat. In the Fellowship of the Ring, what two things does Aragorn use to fight the Nazgul on Weathertop? Now we get to sit here and just wait in silence. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be changing his answer. Five, four, Ow. three, two, go to Boatman. one. Boatman. We are going to go to Boatman first for stats. Oh boy, <laughs> Kobe. Okay, the two things. Um, I see the scene. Is it a sword and torch? And your winner, Jacoby. <laughs> the answer was a sword and a torch. Wow. Jacoby Bancroft winning the match in the final question. Wow, Nick. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Uh, match oh, you. my God. This was insane absolute, absolute insanity holy crap wow um i am absolutely speechless this was one of the the just the better matches we've had in a long time mm -hmm. um, man i mean from a from from my perspective you know like as, as a guy who I, I would consider both these competitors my friends. I feel bad for one and happy for the other, but at the same time, from a showrunner's perspective, this was an incredible match, Nick. Um, let's let's move over to our winner today first, Jacoby. You pulled it out last minute at the end in the final question. You used both repeats you had left. To get to that question, how are you feeling uh, winning this first match of the Summer Series tournament? I am absolutely in shock. I mean, I just, I, I know, I know from the perspective that I really, I didn't beat Boatman. Boatman beat himself when he made the mistake with the, uh, with, the, with the, the Force of Awakens and Kyle Ren. That's what set it all up. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry that that sucks when, when you make a mistake like that. Um, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic. Ec ecstatic whatever word that is i am i am that because i'm i'm thrilled actually because i thought i was down going out of that first round which is like you know i was i had like you know only like a couple points and he had like nine um and then he scored you know pixar which i knew he was going to go like all all the points in um but it, i guess it came down to betting and and being a little risky in in spinning again on a category i was a little bit comfortable with with wizarding world to try to get something better and risking big points um, when I needed to, so I'm I'm very happy. Um, uh, but I, yeah, I, I know that I, I didn't. <laughs> I know Boatman made a mistake here, but I'm super. I am I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. Yeah. Um, your next matchup, you are going to be playing the winner of either Jim Green and Nicholas Tuig. Oh God. <laughs> so that is who you're facing. Um, one of those two people, who would you rather face? Are you excited? Jim Green. I want to face Jim Green. 
Um, no, but I, either way, it'd be fun. I like to play Nick again, sure, because I just like to do better. Because Nick, now I'm an expert in Middle Earth, so you better watch out. Dude. <laughs> um, yes, yes, you are, Jacoby, and uh, I hope I can get to that second master play you because it'd be one hell of a time again. And if we've learned anything today, it is in fact that fortune favors the boy. All right, Jacoby, congrats on your win. Uh, we are going to move over to our unfortunate losers today, the Kingsmen, Boatman, and Coho guys. This was, I, a, this I, was my – I can't even be mad. <laughs> I will – no, I will never forget myself for the Kylo Ren thing. Uh, like, no, I, you should just use a repeat. We hoarded all three of our repeats. We should have used one I there. Know. Sure. I know. I just didn't – I didn't – it wasn't that uh, since I needed to use my replay. I just – didn't for my brain just didn't process the question. The freaking betting round. That it's always this is the second round one tournament where we have lost with 21 points. That this happened last year. We lost to Rizzi by one point, 22 to 21, exact same score in round one. And that's frustrating. Uh look, uh I can't be mad because this is probably how Cody and Kane felt after the last Kings of Winter Ragnarok match. Uh Literally, we, we did the smart play. We bet zero. Let Jacoby come for the win in a category that we know he's not very strong in. And he just he got the one question that he knew uh, or was able to guess. And that's really hard to – that's that's rough. Um, maybe bet zero in quotes and we win. Um, but Boatman was feeling lucky and, you know, he, uh, he, did, he, made, a, he made a smart move. Uh, betting the one he obviously knew the answer. He just had a brain fart. But no, I th I think we played we played really good. We played really good on the whole, and I can't be too mad. So, Boatman, unfortunately, this does mean you are out of the summer series tournament. It also does, unfortunately, mean that you're starting to get into that retirement match uh, area of your record. So, is there someone that you are looking to face? in order to get your record back up? Is there anyone you're looking to play to make that I mean, happen? I don't even want to do that to him, though, because Jake Marangoni's, Jake Marangoni's nice. You literally, <laughs> first match, you know, Richard Schwartz, <laughs> right. Brandon, whatever the dude Yeah, is. you got Scully and for your day. I got Thomas Scully. And then my next match, who I get? I get Dominic friggin' Rizzi. And now I get Jake Marion. No, I'm not gonna say Jake because Jake can deserves I, can a I win play too. Nico's Rock. Can I play Nico's Rock? You or know what we could do? Technically, what we what we might be able to do uh is 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 make a physical battle of wits between the guy who physically abuses you. <laughs> he will he will hurt me if I win. That's true. Do we put I you in danger for putting against the goat dead man? on the Canadian border? We'll see. We'll play whoever we can get. Let's we're, not, we're not retiring. All right. Well, um, guys, thanks for coming tonight. This was a crazy match. Uh, Nick, final thoughts as we wrap this one up. What just happened? <laughs> that was freaking nuts, man. <laughs> this, yeah, the, these. This was a nuts match. Uh, I mean. Jacoby pulled pulled a magic magic win out, and I'm so happy I was here to witness it. It was a great match all the way around. Both players playing incredibly well, but Jacoby with just that awesome pull. Um, I'm speechless. This is such a, this is by far the best match we've had in the uh, summer series so far. But guys, there's a lot of matches still to come, so be on the lookout for even more matches. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what comes next. I don't remember, and I'm too lazy to find out in the next 10 seconds. So with that being said, just keep an open eye on a multiplex for the next match in the Summer Series Tournament. Go watch the Warzone Tournament. Go watch what's ever happening in the debate leagues and the TV leagues and the things. But thank you for coming to watch this one. That was our winner, Jacoby. That was the Kingsman. That has been Nick. I have been Tim. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one.